We are here with Fida. Fida is all known all over the Middle East for being the lady to talk to when it comes to entrepreneurship. And we're going to ask her a few personal questions about what we should know. So Fida, um, we realized today once again that everybody calls himself an entrepreneur. Yeah. Entrepreneurship is glorified. What's your personal definition of entrepreneurship? I mean, it's definitely the cool thing to be right now, yeah. for sure. I'm not an entrepreneur. Uh, I know a lot of very cool entrepreneurs, but yeah. these people are actually putting their nose to the grindstone. Sometimes they've sunk in their last saving dollar just to get their business rolling. Yeah. So um, I think there are also that segment of business people who are transitioning from corporate life to entrepreneurship. Yeah. So they're devoting 50% of their work week to their current corporate job, which is nice, uh, stable salary, and 50% of their time to their entrepreneurial endeavor, which is still great because mm -hmm. they're transitioning that way. Mm -hmm. um, and definitely making the leap is not easy. I mean, I haven't done it, so I'm not in a place to say, but uh, what is an entrepreneur? It's hard to quantify or say, delineate which businesses qualify as entrepreneurship. Yeah. There's people of the opinion that only tech startups are the way to go. I personally don't share that opinion. Yeah. I think that starting any business that becomes viable and continues to sustain itself is an admirable thing mm -hmm. and definitely should be encouraged because the private sector is what builds the economy basically. Okay. I'm sure you are bombarded with a square billion questions. What is that one question that people don't ask often enough that is very important when you set up your business? I think they underestimate the amount of money they need and they also uh, sometimes are blinded by the it's my baby okay. uh, idea mm -hmm. where I've had so many entrepreneurs tell me that um, they couldn't let go to even like small tweaks in the business model okay. or they couldn't take the suggestions to pivot trajectory when they were told by people who were much more you know learned in the sector than themselves. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really important that they really talk to um, people who are really senior in the sector of entrepreneurship to mm -hmm. make sure that they own the idea, yes, but they're also willing to work with the idea to ensure that it goes the next level. Okay. We talked a lot about startups today. From your personal opinion uh, or experiences, when does a startup stop being a startup and being an established business? Where's that point? When can you call a business an established business and not a startup anymore? Um, okay, well, startup is usually say 50 employees or less that kind of thing and SME is is by the US definition 250 employees okay or more okay uh, aside from that I mean I think it also depends on how people themselves define their business like Ronald Shawa is a very famous entrepreneur mm -hmm. and he still refers to Souk as a startup okay some people refer to Souk as the Middle East first unicorn okay so yeah okay sure, it's very so major. I mean if the entrepreneur themselves thinks they're in startup mode, that's because maybe they want to continue uh, keeping that agility and that monument, like the momentum in the business. Okay. It doesn't necessarily reflect where they're at profit wise or growth or scale, so on and so forth, okay. right? Um, I guess that's the long answer. Uh, again, technically speaking, I guess if you're in profit, you're consistently growing, uh, you've exceeded 50 employees, maybe you're out of the startup stage, okay. but culturally like in the ecosystem mm -hmm. some people never stop being a startup so okay. okay i like that answer all right one last question sure what do you personally do to motivate yourself when you go for a low phase um, i mean i don't have a choice <laughs> <laughs> so you, you don't there isn't such a thing as i guess allowing yourself right so yeah. Yeah, definitely everybody's got an off day. Everybody's like, oh, you know, feeling down and out. It gets anxiety. Can I deliver? Can I continue to push this hard? Mm. I mean, if you can't continue to push that hard at what you're doing, maybe you're not doing the right thing. Sure. Right? So if you feel a lack of spark and a lack of motivation um, and a lack of innovation for what you're doing every day, mm -hmm. it's probably a sign to like look deeper and ask yourself if that's what you're supposed to be doing. Okay. And that might be the motivator to get back up again, right? Yeah, true. So awesome. Thank you so much for your yeah, time. Yeah, my pleasure. It was Thank you so much. <laughs>